What's up? I'm Johnny Phantom. I talk about all things fandom. Obviously, talking about Pokemon because I'm you. So hit that like button, hit this guy button, and let's get into, into today's video. So, don't mind this flow chart. That's my duck first timeline if you want to know what that is go to the rest of my videos and go find it anyway let's talk about pokemon now dragonite one of the greatest pokemon of all time he's an awesome dragon and he's one of the original quote-unquote legendaries that we got in the original game legendaries weren't really a big thing it was kind of it's like okay Mewtwo's the legendary you have Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno were the legendaries but in a sense Dragonite was another legendary because it developed from Jatini and the only way to get Jatini it was paying a crap ton of coins in the casino or catching it very hard to catch it in the Safari Zone since Dratini is so rare, Dragonite was even rarer because you have to catch Dratini to get to Dragonite, and there was no Dragonites in the wild. Of course, Lance has one, so it's not like super duper rare, but in the individual anime, the first few find out about this legendary Pokemon. We go to Bill's White House, and you see this giant, I mean, giant Dragonite. Like, 30 feet tall Dragonite walking through the ocean towards the White House. And then waiting on that road, we see other Dragonites, like in the Pokemon first movie, Mew vs. Mewtwo, we see a Dragonite with a male, and it's just this common Pokemon at that point. So that, dra that original Dragonite was 30 feet tall, and the other one, even the one that Ash has right now in Pokemon Journeys, is only like nine feet tall. Why was that Dragonite so big? Why was that Dragonite so rare? Was it even a Dragonite? Well, if you look side by side, it's definitely a Dragonite. But why was that Dragonite so big? Why was it considered quote unquote legendary when now it's fully common. A lot of the earlier Pokemon games don't really seem all that up there because in early Pokemon days even Arcanine was considered a legendary Pokemon because we see the center we see that panel on the wall that has Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, and Arcanine. Why is Arcanine up there with the three birds as a quote unquote legendary when it involves some Growlithe? And we see plenty of Growlithe throughout the show. What, no one can evolve the Growlithe to Arcanine? Or no one ever tried to because they didn't know what would happen and Growlithe never leveled up? All the Growlithe from Officer Denny's police canine squad, none of them ever level up? But then we see our canine in the show as well. So why is our canine considered a legendary Pokemon? And then when Ash also goes to the White House, he sees that same graphic of Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and our canine. Why is our canine considered a legendary Pokemon? Because the original thought was to have our canine be a legendary Pokemon, and they decided not to. It's just weird. So. Instead of, so they already drew the Arcanine in the panel, so let's scrap that idea and turn Dragonite into a one, and then make Dragonite literally, it's just, they touched themselves so much back in the day. So much. The original red and blue Pokemon and Dex entry for Arcanine was a Pokemon that has been admired since the past of its beauty. It runs agilely as if on wings. In yellow, a legendary Pokemon in China. Many people are charmed by its grace and beauty while running. Gold, this legendary Chinese Pokemon, is considered magnificent. Many people are enchanted by its grand mane. So, it's mentioned to be legendary throughout this series, but it's 
pretty common. In red and blue, Dragonite's Pokedex entry says, and extremely rarely see marine Pokemon. Its intelligence is said to match that of humans. In yellow, it is said that this Pokemon lives somewhere in the sea and that it flies. However, it's only a rumor. You guys need to like come for better Pokedex entries. It is said this Pokemon constantly flies over the immense seas and rescues drowning people. That does happen because in Pokemon Journeys, the Dragonite uh, rescue Ash and Go when they fall in the water because of the storm. So that's true. Only a very few people ever see this Pokemon. Its intelligence is said to match that of humans. But it's pretty common now in days. I mean, Lance has one. Ash has one. Other trainers have one. A pair of Pokemon anymore. I mean, it's still rare, just not as rare as it used to be. Either way, these Pokemon creators contradict themselves here and there, change their idea here and there. So all legendaries that we have ever seen, you know, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Mewtwo, Lugia, Oho, the list goes on and on. There's only one of those Pokemon. Except for Lugia. We see that there's multiple Lugias. Ash met Lugia in Pokemon 2000 movie. Ash met a Lugia in Pokemon Journeys. Possibly not the same Lugia. Because we also see Lugia have babies in the show. Uh, I don't know what series that is, but... There's multiple Lugias. But we only ever see one Zapdos, one Mojis, one Articuno. And Ash does meet those ones quite a few times. So Ash sees a lot of legendary Pokemon. We saw legendary Pokemon first day on the road. Saw the Oho. It's very contradicting. But with that being said, the fact that they tease Oho in the first episode of the anime, hinting towards Gen 2. And then way down the road, we find the egg of Togepi, you know, pretty early on in the season, way before Gen 2 was even, like, announced. You know, I remember watching a show and be like, Togepi, that's not my Pokedex. What is this? Who is this? And not even thinking about the first Pokemon that Ash ever saw up in the sky, which was Oho. Gen 2 comes out. Oho, Togepi. Oh my god. This is nuts. Either way, they contradict themselves on certain things, but they also do tease certain things ahead of time. So, in one episode, we see the so visual series, episode number 19, Beauty in the Beach. There is a giant, I mean, giant tentacle. And he's attacking the resort, destroying the property, all the stuff. Tentacle normally isn't that large, but this thing is ginormous, and nobody ever like really says anything like, "Oh, that's a tentacle." Okay, but all the other tentacles you see were not that big. And then you and uh, Black and Misty see the Dragonite at the tower, ginormous Dragonite, and then you see a Dragonite way on down the road, and it's like, "Oh, it's Dragonite." Isn't that the Pokemon we saw at the lighthouse? Why is this one shorter? No, they don't think of it. But what if the creators are hinting more towards other stuff? We have the hints towards Gen 2 with Togepi and Oho. And other hints throughout the, the series. I haven't watched all the series because I don't like Ash's other partners. Black and Misty, awesome. Awesome group. Serena and all the other girls, they're just annoying. I, ha I am watching Journeys with Go, which is kind of cool. But I met all the other girls because Ash meets up with the old teams eventually at some point in the show, except for Black and Misty. And they're annoying. Serena is annoying. 
Dawn is annoying. Anyway, what if the show creators were hinting towards Dynamaxing or Mega Evolutions, but they didn't really know how to go about it yet? So they had this Dragonite, who is ginormous, and this Tentacle, which is ginormous. You know, maybe they wandered in and was able to get the Dynama uh, the the Gala region particles, you know, in them and travel to Kanto where we see them. And their particles may be still there. Maybe they didn't understand what they're going to do yet, but they wanted some kind of evolution to have mega evolution, have dynamaxing, have, you know, all their stuff. Like maybe they wanted to do something, but they didn't know how to go about it. But, or maybe it's just Pokemon saying, yeah, just some, I mean, we do see all the variations. Such as the, you know, the Galarian versions of certain things. We do see different versions of the same Pokemon. We also see different color variations and things like that. So there very much could be a, just a giant Dragonite living in the ocean and a giant tentacle and where all the other ones. So, I don't know. It could be a hint towards something in the future, or it could have been just just an alternate version, just another thing that could happen. I mean, there was reports of real animals in our in our world that you know the world record of the longest snake, or whatever. Like that it's like these alternate versions can happen. These alternate variations can happen. So why not in Pokemon? Either way, I'm just going on a rant here. I feel like this video is just me complaining about Pokemon. Either way, hit that one, hit this guy button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my merch store down below. Hit that join button. Check out that Patreon page. Check out that Spotify. I got a ton of great content. And also, if you support me, I'll support you by giving you some free stuff. So go check it out. See you guys next time. That one? That one. Oh, you want me to... Okay. There's a video there. And there's a video there. See you next time. That is one crazy theory.